By the end of this lesson, students will be able to compare weak and strong acids in terms of their degree of ionization in water, explain and use the terms Ka and pKa, calculate the pH from the H3O plus ion concentration for a weak acid. Water is made up of H2O molecules. Click the zoom button to have a clear view of the molecules. Click the plus 5 HCl button to add 5 molecules of HCl to water. What happened to the HCl molecules? Answer. The HCl molecules ionize to form H plus and Cl minus ions. The H plus ions combined with water molecules to form H3O plus ions. Click the 0.01 button to view the extent of ionization when 0.01 mole of HCl molecules is added to water. Now, click the 0.02, 0.03 and 0.04 buttons one at a time. If 0.1 mole of HCl were added to 1 cubic decimeter of water, what would the concentration of H plus, H3O plus ions in water be? Discuss and click Next. Answer. The concentration of H plus ions would be 0.1 mole per cubic decimeter, as all the 0.1 mole of HCl would have ionized. HCl is a strong acid, as it is completely ionized in water. Key in 0.1 into the box for concentration of HCl and note the H plus ion concentration and the corresponding pH value. Now, key in 0.01 and then 0.001. The concentrations of H plus and HCl are numerically the same. We can therefore calculate the pH values easily if we know the concentration of the acid. Consider the case of an unknown monobasic acid, HA. Click the plus 5 HA button to add 5 molecules of HA to water. Click the 0.01 button to view the extent of ionization when 0.01 mole of HA are added to water. Now, click the 0.02, 0.03 and 0.04 buttons one at a time. What does the number of H plus ions present in the aqueous solution at equilibrium tell you about the strength of acid HA? Answer. HA is a weak acid as it is only partially ionized in water. Since the concentrations of HA and H plus are not the same numerically, the earlier method of calculating pH cannot be used. Summary. Strong acids like HCl ionize completely in water to produce a high concentration of H plus ions. We can calculate the pH of a strong acid if the initial concentration of the acid is known. Weak acids are only partially ionized in water, thus producing a low concentration of H plus ions. The pH of solutions of weak acids cannot be calculated 
based on their initial concentration alone. In an aqueous solution of a weak acid, an equilibrium is established between the undissociated molecules HA and the ions H plus and A minus. Click the simplified button if you wish to view the simplified version of the equation. The degree of dissociation of an acid depends on the position of equilibrium between the undissociated molecules and the ions. The further to the left it lies, the weaker the acid is. We can get a measure of the position of the equilibrium by writing an equilibrium constant for the reaction. Click the KC button. The concentration of water is largely unchanged and is considered a constant. Click the Rearrange button. The product of KC and the concentration of H2O is a constant and is called the acid dissociation constant Ka. Ka is a constant value at a fixed temperature for a weak acid. Click the simplified button if you wish to view the simplified version of the expression. What happens to the value of Ka when the concentration of H plus is decreased? Answer. Ka decreases when the concentration of H plus is decreased. The weaker the acid, the smaller is the value of Ka. We can calculate the concentration of H plus iron and hence the pH of an aqueous solution of a weak acid at equilibrium given the initial concentration of the acid and its Ka value. Select example 1 from the drop down menu. Methanoic acid is a weak monobasic acid. Click next to find out how to calculate the pH of 0.1 mole per decimeter cube of methanoic acid solution. Click the equation button. Click the initial concentration button. Assume X mole of H plus is formed. Click the equilibrium concentration button. Click the Ka button. Drag and drop the correct formula from the equation into each of the boxes shown to get the expression for Ka. Now, click the Ka button to view its given value. Click the Rearrange button. The value of X and thus the concentration of H plus is obtained. Click the concentration of H plus button. The pH of the solution is 2.4. Click the summary of steps button to help you recall the steps involved. Select example 2 from the drop down menu. The pH of 0.5 mole per cubic decimeter of HA is 3.4. Let us now work out the dissociation constant of the acid. Let the concentration of H plus iron at equilibrium be x mole per cubic decimeter.
click the equilibrium concentration in mole per cubic decimeter. Click the pH button. Click the concentration of H plus button. Click the KA button. Drag and drop the appropriate formula from the equation into each of the boxes. Now, drag the correct equilibrium concentration values into the empty boxes. Click X to substitute it with the value obtained earlier. Summary. An equilibrium is established between the molecules and ions of a weak acid, HA, when it is dissolved in water. HA, AQ plus H2O L reversible, H3O plus AQ plus A minus AQ, or HA, AQ reversible, H plus AQ plus A minus AQ. The acid dissociation constant of an acid HA is given as Ka is equal to the concentration of H3O plus times concentration of A minus upon the concentration of HA or Ka is equal to the concentration of H plus times the concentration of A minus upon the concentration of HA. The weaker the acid, the smaller the value of Ka. The pH of a solution of a weak acid can be calculated using its initial concentration and Ka value. The fraction or percentage of molecules which dissociate, ionize, is called the degree of dissociation alpha. Click on alpha. Ethanoic acid is a weak acid at any one time in a 0.1 mole per cubic decimeter aqueous solution only about one out of hundred ethanoic acid molecules has dissociated what is the degree of dissociation of ethanoic acid answer 0.01 or 1 percent HNO3 is a strong acid what do you expect its degree of dissociation to be? Answer. Degree of dissociation of HNO3 is approximately 1 or 100%. The degree of dissociation of an acid also depends on its concentration. Let us take a weak monobasic acid, HA, with an initial concentration of C mole per cubic decimeter. If the degree of dissociation is alpha, the concentration of each species at equilibrium is as shown. Click the 3 button. For many weak acids, alpha is so small that 1 minus alpha is almost equal to 1. Hence, alpha is equal root of Ka upon C. What happens to the value of alpha when the value of C decreases? Answer, the value of alpha increases when C decreases. Click the graph A button. Click the strong acid button. Click the weak acid button. Now, click the graph B button. What can you deduce about the dissociation of a weak acid in water from this observation? Answer. The more dilute the solution, that is, the lower the concentration, 
the greater the degree of dissociation. Is the pH value a good measure of the strength of an acid? Discuss and click next. Answer, no. The pH of a solution changes with the concentration of H plus ions and does not reflect the strength of the acid. Ka values give a more accurate representation of the strength of weak acids as they are unaffected by changes in the concentration of the solution. Ka is dependent only on the temperature. We can also use the degree of dissociation to calculate the pH of an acid solution. Click the step 1 button to get the formula for the concentration of H plus in terms of alpha. Click the step 2 button to calculate the pH. Summary. The fraction or percentage of molecules which dissociate, alpha, is called the degree of dissociation. The degree of dissociation of a strong acid is almost 1 or 100%. The degree of dissociation of a weak acid increases as the concentration of the solution decreases. The Ka value of a weak acid is a more accurate measurement of the strength of an acid than its pH value. This is because the concentration of H plus ions produced in an acid solution changes with the concentration of the acid. We can also calculate the pH of an acidic solution using the expression the concentration of H plus ion is equal to the root of Ka times C. The table above shows the Ka values of some weak acids. Arrange the acids in order of their acid strength. Drag and drop the name of each acid into the appropriate boxes. We can convert the Ka values into an easier form using the formula pKa is equal to the negative logarithm of Ka. Click the pKa. What is the relationship between the value of pKa and the strength of the acid? Answer. The stronger the acid, the smaller the value of pKa. Identify the conjugate base of HA by clicking on its formula in the equation. A weak acid has very few H plus ions present at equilibrium. Is the conjugate base of HA a strong or weak base? Discuss and click Next. Answer. The conjugate base of a weak acid will be a strong base. This is because the equilibrium position is well over to the left. Click the table button. Now, click on the arrow which shows the correct order of increasing basic strength of the conjugate bases of the acids. Summary. We can express the Ka values in a simpler form using the formula pKa is equal to the negative logarithm of Ka. The stronger the acid, the smaller the value of pKa. The weaker the acid, the stronger its conjugate base.